Welcome back to Living 808. There is no denying that local honey is a booming business. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're joined by the owner of Nala Mele Honey to learn more about her operation. Hi, Sis. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you very much. It's very nice to have, have you guys have me. I know. it. Tell us about everything you have here and about what you do. Hi, so I'm a local honey producer here on Oahu, um, and I sell at farmers markets and a bunch of other different kinds of venues. I have today a spread of a you whole sure different do. types of honeys for you guys, both to try and to talk about. I know, you got the cutest little spoon. <laughs> we are excited for this. They're like, Mikey size, <laughs> as John would say, Mikey size. Those are adorable. And you're an actual beekeeper, is that right? I am a beekeeper. Uh, I started as a beekeeper, and then honey came after, right? So first you're interested in bees, and then all of a sudden you have a lot of honey to sell. I love that. Now, how can people learn a little bit more about beekeeping? Um, there are lots of classes now. When I first started, you couldn't take a class. You had to just hmm. find a beekeeper that would sort of take you on. Um, but now, CTAR Extension has classes that you can take. And so you can go online and find classes, and people take like a semester long class. Um, and that's usually how people start. But I still recommend finding a beekeeper. That's usually the best way. Very and cool. we're looking at some beautiful pictures right now. Kind of walk us through uh, some of this and what we're seeing. So I work on a two-acre farm um, in Kailua, right outside Kailua, mm. and we have work days um, every quarter about. And so we invite all kinds of friends and associates, and we've started kind of bringing in more people. Um, and this farm is great. It's all organic. Um, it's small. And so I have about 25 hives up there. Wow. And we, I usually take help in building boxes and even in honey extraction. So when I get time to harvest, I can't do it all myself, and so I usually bring and help to try to help me. Well, that's my home turf. Yeah. I might have to join you out there. I'm obsessed with honey, and local honey is yeah. so important. What are some of the benefits of purchasing local honey? When you get local honey, you get all of the benefits of where that honey is from. So you don't just get the honey when the bees bring the honey in. It comes with a little bit of pollen and a little bit of the resin from the trees, and that can act to help your immune system defend off the same things. Um, and it also supports the pollinators in your, in your neighborhood. So it love supports it. me taking care of the bees, which is the other thing. And we love supporting local, too. So okay. tell us, where does Nalo Mele Honey end up? Like, what other businesses? Um, I work with Vintage Vinegars, okay. who uses it to make it part of their vinegar supply, um, which is very exciting. Um, I do weddings, and so if you have a wedding up at, say, Sunset Ranch or mm -hmm. something similar, um, it ends up going into that kind of market. Um, and then my bees go places, too. There's a sustainability um, mission going on right now that's bringing bees from school to school to school. And so then my bees get to travel around. And so there's a bunch of different ways that Nala Melly's interacting. Awesome. Okay, we take a look at this? <laughs> Show us what this is. Uh, I brought a queen bee. This was produced Whoa. by... I only know of one You queen know queen bee, bee Beyonce. I know Beyonce I know. queen. <laughs> you know, of course she knows. You already know. So, hello. But really, okay, let's see. Hold so, that up. Um, this is springtime, and so all of our hives right now are getting ready. They're producing lots and lots and lots of babies. Um, and this queen, which is produced by Hawaii Queen Company here on Oahu, um, they, uh, I need it to be able to split and make new hives. And so oh. this lady will get to go into a hive um, in about an hour okay, um, that I split yesterday. And so it'll help me make more hives and more honey. Awesome. Very cool. There's the queen. Yeah. Right there. I know she is. She has a blue dot because in the 2020, she gets a blue dot. So we paint her. All right, oh. how, what would you recommend that we try for this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I have backyard hives, which are okay. my favorite, because if you put a hive in a single place, then they probably aren't competing okay. with lots of other people. It's colder here than outside for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. And can people, you know, where can they find you at just different places um, to get your honey? I'm, I'm a small producer, so I'm only at the farmer's market. So you have to find me at KCC on the second and fourth Saturdays or at Thursday night Kailua Market, okay. or you can contact me online. There we go. Oh, there cool. we go. This is really delicious, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it has everything in it, mm. because when you have a backyard hive, they're just going everywhere. So this is a secret location in Kahala that has just a couple of hives, and mm -hmm. uh, it's my favorite honey of all time. Anything you can tell us about the queen bee, too? Bees are just fascinating <laughs> in how they yeah. work um, in their community. She can exactly. live up to four years, and she lays almost a 1,000 eggs a day if you give her the right place to lay them and the right, and the right support system. Um, she's super sad right now, because without her ladies Aww. surrounding her, her attendants, 
maintenance. Yeah. Her squad. Nobody, I was gonna say her girl squad. <laughs> she can't really feed herself very well. Oh. She can't clean herself, so she's like totally waiting for some help. I've never seen. She's she's sad oh. looking. But okay. um, once they get into the hive, um, the the hive will take care of them. Um, but to raise a queen, you do the same thing as you would raise a worker bee. So except for that, they feed her something special. So imagine you were a baby, but then your mom gave you you know some superfood. Yeah. You would turn into a queen. So Ooh. it's about how they're it's how they're fed. I'm still waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just so keep saying it's yeah, 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 you're, oh. you're already there. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Do you have Thanks. a website or as well? Or I just do. Uh, Nalamellihoney.com, and you can okay. find me there. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So good. All right.